How many of you can say that you have witnessed a pendulum god summon a pendulum god? Not many. Luckily for you, your boy Triff is here to let that dream come true. Because today, the pen god summons out the original pen god. My own flying pet dragon, Zark. Let's go, baby. And in honor of Zark being summoned today, we got some good, good, good news for all of the Pendulum fam out there. Look at it. Look at it. It's in all its beauty. It just came in the mail, boys. All of your I am Endymion cloth play mats. So anyone with a brain would realize you gotta pick up the mat. I mean, it's just obvious. Everyone knows that you win the die roll when you play on the beautiful I am Endymion cloth play mat. So... If you want to win some die rolls, if you want to win some Yugi's, you pick up the mat. And on today's video, in honor of Zark, in honor of the mat, we're going to be doing an amazing giveaway. All you got to do to sign up for the giveaway is hit the subscribe button. If you haven't hit the subscribe button already, well, go ahead and do it. If you have already subscribed, unsubscribe, and then subscribe again, okay? Because at 22,000 subscribers, I'll be releasing the winner of this playmat. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button and comment down below your favorite pendulum archetype. That's all you gotta do, and hit the subscribe button. Anyways, let's go summon some Zark, shall we? Time to summon Zark, let's go. If you don't like Zark, I mean, you're just lying to yourself. Now, you notice here, it, you're just playing normal pendulum. So Shrine is God in this deck because Shrine can send Arai Zark Pendulum. And the way we're making Zark here is by sending Arai Zark Pendulum as well as each of the Pendulum Magicians. And it's very easy. You just play Pendulum Magicians like normal. Literally, a normal Pendulum Magician deck set, uh, makes Zark easily plus negates. You just gotta be smart about it. And honestly, it's super cool. So we're playing normal pens at this point. There's no bricks. We even drew a dead spell power mastery. Like, I know the hand looked good at the beginning, but all my hands are good. What the hell? Like, we don't brick out here, baby. So we don't need to open Shrine to do it. It's just nice. In fact, we're going to do the combo as if Shrine didn't even send on Isaac Pendulum. And I believe in all my hands, I actually did open, ended up opening Shrine. But we don't use Pendulum Dragon. We don't send on Isaac Pendulum Dragon for any of them to show that we don't need to open it. It doesn't matter. It just makes the combo even easier. Uh, and it's super amazing how to do it. Like I said, you just play pendulums normally, and you still achieve Zark plus normal pendulums. It doesn't even matter what you draw. Like, here, we're not even gonna activate the lore. We're not even gonna activate the ma- Like, we, we already, like, dead- We dead drew the mastery. So it's like, yeah, the hand's good, but it's not like- Like, every hand is like this, you know? Like, that's why you play cards like Into the Void. And for those that are not opening like this, it's because you're pl not playing Into the Void. It's because you're playing garbage cards. Like, anyways. Uh, Magicians. Now- Black Fang and White Wing, obviously not many people play them, but they're just Magician scales. So, White Wing is the same thing as Plural Poison almost, like, obviously going second, it destroys back row decks, but in the meta, like, what's it gonna do against Salaman? Great nothing. What's it gonna do against, uh, like, Orcus cards that are gonna have the Dengarsu to protect anyway? So it's like, Pearl Poison is not the best card, to be honest, not in this format. Obvi Thunder Dragon does nothing. Obviously, in different formats, is amazing, but point is, all the Magician, pe magician Pendulums are almost the same thing. So you don't really brick by playing a white wing. In fact, white wing kind of helps protect your cards from getting impermed and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, here we're gonna go into typical guard dragon combo. But what we're gonna do here, we only play one brick in the deck. Like that's it, just one, and just Brotar. But Brotar replaces the Strudo, which was the brick, anyways. But Brotar is incredible, and, and Brotar hasn't seen much play uh, since the guard dragon deck's dead. But Brotar is broken. All right, like. Especially because you could pendulum summon it with gate zero. So you discard, add the magician you're missing. So harmonizing summons out one magician, and you summon out the other magician you're missing. Now you have access to all the magicians, okay? Which is totally cool. We, we hard drew the black fang. I'm gonna show you guys what happens if you don't hard draw the black fang. Uh, so when you don't hard draw the black fang, you just go into time star. Uh, here, you also, Romulus gets the ravine, which is how you send the Otis Arc Pendulum. So it's super big brain here, where you're gonna search every single piece from Zark by its, the combo itself. So you get harmonizing from the from Electrum, harmonizing going to the Time Star. If you're missing it, uh, eventually go into yeah, you go into Brotar to get one piece. So Electrum gets one piece by harmonizing, right? Brotar gets second piece by poison. Uh, Romulus gets Ravine to get the third piece by on Isaac Pendulum, 
And now you're going to use Ravine to send the Purple Poison. We sent Dark One because we already had the, the Pendulum because of that, but that's what you're sending. And you send, the, you don't want the cards in your hand or the field or linked away or whatever. You want them in your graveyard uh, for most value out of those, to get the Zark out. So Ravine, just discard the poison you add from the Brotar. Uh, and you got the Autodesic Pendulum. And destroying that I already had it. Anyways, now you go to Time Star. Now at this point, the hand has everything I need. It has the... Uh, if I didn't have the Black Fang, this is where I would get the Black Fang. And it'll work a little differently. I know the chronograph instead, but it worked out the same way. So we're gonna do now is get the chronograph. Where we already uh, we did not normal summon this turn. So to get a free negate, we're just gonna tribute summon in the chronograph. So we tribute summon in the chronograph. We did not normal summon yet. We now get to save these. Uh, we could have gone Sayuja to special it. So if you use your normal summon that turn, you just go into Sayuja and special the chronograph. But there was no reason to do so. So we're just gonna tribute summon it. Uh, summon Zarko. <laughs> Uh, now, Zark in itself, it's it's a good card, man. It says, yeah, your opponent can target it, whatever. It's better going second, because going second, you'll destroy all the cards that so your opponent controls. But what we're going to do here, we're going to go into Mighty Master to pop the Zark and put it in the scale. A big brain at its finest. And it's the Zark in the scale now. So when it gets destroyed, it goes in the scale. And when it's in the scale, Fusion, Synchro, and XYZ monster your opponent controls cannot activate their effects. AKA your opponent's not playing. Skill drain for your opponent, well, not for you. And on top of that, when your opponent adds a card from deck to hand, destroy it. The card's broken. It's a floodgate. And then you go into seal, and you win. Spellbound Mastery follow up. Brotar Dark One follow up, not that you need it. Mighty Master bounce back, it's a scale one. That's why you pop the gate zero. Uh, add, uh, add back Mighty Master, you negate a spell trap, pen summon, win. Uh, that deck is broken. Uh, if you don't have access to Mighty Master, you go into Unchained Abomination uh, as the Link 4. And Unchained Abomination's effect would be, uh, at the end phase, destroy the Zark. And then the Zark will go in scale. So it's broken. And so you should as well, if you already use your normal summon. So the video is already 5 minutes long, so we're going to fast forward the next ones. So the next two, we're going to fast forward, just so you guys can see. This one we didn't open as broken. <coughs> uh, we still open Shrine and Servant, which, uh, but the three dead cards after that. But you know what? This is what the deck does. The deck, like I said, is just broken. Into the, into the, why you gotta play Into the Void? A lot of you guys don't play Into the Void. We draw a, de a few dead cards there. That's fine. And you see here, it's just a combo as normal. Uh, you, you just do it exactly as we just did. Uh, we search Black Fang, because it's the other one we're missing with the Brotar. Uh, last time we searched the Purple Poison, I believe. You just search whatever you're missing. Get the Ravine. Ravine, uh, I didn't even, I purposely didn't get Shrine. I purposely didn't send Pendulum Dragon with Shrine. We get, just to show you guys, Ravine, discard the other one. Uh, and then tribute summon again. We didn't tribute summon yet. Uh, do that. And if you, like I said, if you have, then Mighty Master can pop. Uh, same thing. You win. And if you normal summon, go Sayuja and summon it the exact same way. Next one. Uh, we're going to do one more. I want to show you guys the deck profile as well. And yeah, like, it looks like Magicians are back, baby. Zark is nice. Like this, obviously, I'd rather play normal, but Pendulums because it is overkill at that point to do it like that. But, like, you really don't need to, bro. Like, the deck is just that good. Uh, I'm sure you, again, like, you don't normal summon in Pendulum anymore. If you open Servant, you don't need it. You don't need to open Servant to do it. So, opening Servant just means you're going to end up with a better board, like a Jackal. But you don't need it. All you really need is just a Zark, and you win. And in fact, you don't even need all these cards. So, yeah, Brotar's going to get the Chronograph there. And exact same style. Like, there's nothing new. You just do this all the time. So, we search another Chronograph there. Because we already had the Pro Poison we discarded. So we already have access to every Magician. We just have to get the Time Star Engrave. This hand, honestly, was even more. This hand would have ended on a Dweller as well. Because we didn't need the Time Star. So the Shrine would have sent the Pendulum Dragon. So we don't need to go into Romulus. And it would have ended on even more Negates. Like this one, I believe, would have been the same thing plus a Dweller. But I'm like, whatever. Same shit. And yeah, you just went. Uh, exact same thing. Tribute Summon again. And, and the deck's just honestly busted you know, for the Zark lovers out there. Now, this is the deck profile. We got two Harmonizing Magicians. One of each of these Magicians. We don't play Dragon Pick because you're already playing a good amount of Magicians. I don't like magi High Magician counts because you'd rather draw a great card like Servant, Upstarts, Into the Void, Allure, draw cards, etc. It's super consistent, as you see. That's why we're cutting the Magician count very low. White Wings is an underrated Magician card. It stops your, your Spellcast from getting targeted. So you can't target the Jackal. You can't target... 
the Mighty Master, even though normally you can anyways, but it really helps, especially versus Dino Wrestlers, board stuff like that. It's really not that bad of a card at all, but you, it's Ark, you win anyways. Three Corona, one time gauges. So, uh, it's also a, a 2.5 card combo uh, to do a just Zark by itself. It's if you open one way into Foolish, uh, one way into Foolish and one way into Pen Call equals Zark by itself. I can show you guys in a later video. Uh, sorry, no, no. One of the opening nine, so you see these nine, one of these nine magicians, one, uh, uh, sorry, two of the 14 magicians, so those nine plus five Pen Call, a turbo card works as well. So it's like literally any hand does it, and one Foolish does it. Like, like, any hand does it, to be honest, bro. Any hand does it. And any hand that doesn't have Zark, you just put up multiple negate, pendulum negates. Like, the hands that don't have Zark are the hands that are, like, busted. It's like Servant, Mastery, Allure, Upstart, like, Dark Worm. You know, it's like the busted hands are the ones that don't have Zark. So you just win anyways at that point. Uh, don't, no reason for Dragon Pit in this format. I, I guess it's good. Obviously, Dragon Pit's a great card. And I probably would want to play it. Uh, but there's already enough magician. It's all good. It doesn't matter. Three Servant, three Dark Worm, one gate, zero. One on as Arc Pendulum to do the combo with. Uh, one Mighty Master, one Jocko. For those who don't know, you do need the White Wing to make the Zarks. You need White Wing, Pearl Poison, Block Fang, and on as Arc Pendulum to make it. One Brotar over to Strudo. Brotar is an amazing card, especially because you have so much access to Dark Worm. Three Foolish Shits, like three Dark Worm. We always get it. Uh, you have the Gate Zero on the scale a lot. So if you ever dead draw the Brotar, aim for Gate Zero to be the scale. Uh, upstart triple into the void triple allure triple mastery one ravine for the combo not a brick you just get dark one foolish double shrine having doubles of these is fine because those lines can always search the pendulum dragon so if you open doubles you just get pen call to discard the double so you don't always have the pen call to discard duels lines or something. you know you know what i mean you don't always use pen call to discard pen call sometimes you just use pen call to discard the second one that's why pen call is very good in this deck Three system down, three evenly, three reboot, three dark ruler, three mind control. Six cards for each matchup in this meta. Uh, obliterates everything. You could take out whatever you want. What I like to take out would be like a, a fifth Lewis Alliance, a uh, third spell power mastery, uh, uh, maybe one harmonized magician. And if I feel like taking out the Zark engine entirely, I'll take out the White Wing and the Pendulum Dragon and the Brotar. And if, if you're playing a deck that you really want to side a lot for, and the Ravine. So it's like, uh, you can take out those four if you really want to, but you don't you don't need to. Uh, one Electro, one Beat Cup, one LP, one Triple Burst, one Romulus, one Seal. They all come up a lot. So Yusha, Unchain Abomination. This comes up a lot if you want to put Zark in the scale. Zark in the scale is easy game. So when you have uh, don't have Money Master, you just go for that. One out, Unicorn, one Bro Sword, Zark, the god, Pen God himself, after me, obviously. I'm, he's my, he's, he's like my pet. I'm the Pen God, he's like my pet. He's my dragon I fly on to locals and whenever I'm bored. Absolute Vortex, Time Star Dweller. That's the deck, guys. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I really enjoy the deck, especially, I think it could definitely hop a regional, no doubt about it. And, you know what, maybe we get enough people that like this deck, I'll do more videos on it and perhaps even take it to one of my next few regionals. Don't forget, guys, amazing giveaway for the Iron Man Demian Cloth Playmat. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, and at 22,000 subscribers, I'll be releasing the winner. And if you want to purchase it yourself, then not give it up the chance. Check it out in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!